Families are forever changing. Time never stands still. And life is something we should never take for granted. That's why we treat every hunt like it's our last. We're Americans, Christians, and proud. We are raised hunting. Buying your first house, did you fear money? Did you fear, what, what were the, the thoughts that went through Sarah's, what was it that you were afraid of? Um, Before I had kids, I don't feel like I don't feel like I was really afraid of anything. Um, I think before you have kids, you don't think about what their life is going to be like when they get older. So I was pretty fearless. Plus, we, we got married. Terry and I got married very, you know, I was very young and we had kids very young. So I just, I didn't have fear. But once you have your own children, time flies by. And I, I fear now, I worry about not having enough time to make memories with them and I, I worry for them in their future with technology and all the time that they spend on computers and on their phones. I worry about that. I don't think it's good for them. So anytime we can get outside and do outdoor things I think is good for them. Sometimes whether it's hunting, whether it's just in life, we end up out of our comfort zone. How does Sarah handle that? First personally, how do you handle being out of your comfort zone? Well, um... <laughs> You've never spent your weekends getting up at 4 a.m. Never walked into the woods in complete darkness. Never climbed 16 feet in a tree. Never put your son's life in the hands of a one-inch piece of webbing. You've never heard so many sounds at sunrise or seen the sun shine the way it did this morning. You've never anticipated what might happen in the next few minutes, the next hour, or even the next day. Never seen your child so intent on anything. You've never seen you or him sit so still. Never seen a wild animal stare into your soul. You've never felt your heart pound this hard. You've never seen a smile so big or seen him hold his head so high. Why? Because you've never hunted a day in your life. Some might ask, why would you do this? I would ask, why wouldn't you? But then we all might wonder, is this going the extra mile? And would you do it for your son? My name is Sarah Cowman, and I live in Winterset, Iowa. I grew up in Messina, Iowa, born and raised in Iowa. Um, Eli, my son, middle son, he has always had an interest in the outdoors and guns and hunting, and um, he decided one year for his birthday that he wanted a bow. My husband doesn't bow hunt. He's never bow hunted. So I just thought, why not me? Why can't I buy him a bow and myself one and learn how to do something with him? So I bought him a bow and myself a bow for his birthday, and that's how we got started in learning how to hunt together. I think it's a target. Oh, the hunting bow. Oh my gosh. That's a cool color, dude. Whoa. Oh my You'll God. never lose that in the woods. Hold on. Do you love it? Yes. All right, let's try to kill a deer, huh? Yep, tell me you when. You got a new kind of bullet? Yep. All right, my friend, whenever you're ready. Even though Sarah is new to hunting, she's not new to parenting. 
So when she realized Eli wasn't ready with his bow, she encouraged him to use his shotgun. Either way, she knew they'd be hunting together. Honestly, Eli, I don't know that your eye could shoot any better than what you did there with that one. You know, look at the size of that hole. Yeah. There you go. Good job. You ready to do this? Yeah. Huh? Hope so. It's fun stuff this deer hunting. I wish it was about 20 degrees cooler. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, it'll work. Having a weapon in my hand does not scare me, and it doesn't scare me that my son has one because we've taught him um, gun safety from a young age, so obviously bow safety's hand in hand with that. I've, I feel comfortable around guns. Growing up, my dad hunted and my brother, so we all, there was always guns in the house, so I've never been afraid of, a, of the weapon. You made me feel sad for a second. Have you loaded your gun yet or not yet? Not yet. You can now. We're good. All right, so before I do an interview with you, let's talk a little bit about what I think might be. This segment was brought to you by Big Time. Attract, develop, grow. You can find Raised Hunting on these social media platforms. This segment is brought to you by Ripcord, America's favorite fall away rest. Raised Hunting would like to thank these partners as well. Gamo, adult precision air guns. I don't, I don't believe that me learning how to hunt with my son is going the extra mile. I just think it's being a mom and wanting to do something with your kid and having an experience with your kid. So that's his interest and that's what he wanted to do. So I'm just being a mom, trying to help him reach his goals, I guess. Let's see, it's been 40, yeah, almost 40 years since my first deer hunt. So. Tell me what it's like to be on your first deer hunt. It's exciting. Why? It's just a deer. Well, it's the first time I've ever been hunting for anything. Yeah. Now, and have you ever deer hunted, sir? No, I'm not. This is the first time. First time. What have I gotten myself into here? <laughs> well, I'm hoping, my friend, that we get you a shot at your first deer. something about being out in the middle of the timber that God created, just you and your kid. There's just something spiritual about that rather than being with them in a shopping mall or something. It's more meaningful, it's peaceful, it's quiet, and it's just time where you can truly spend time just together with them one-on-one. -on -one. What happened to it? Did you did you hear me telling you to shoot? Yeah. Was she not far enough out? No, I just like. Did you hear him? She she spooked right before I was ready to shoot. I didn't hear her until like right. It was too late. So you just almost shot your first deer. Yeah. Will you check your calendar tonight when you get home? I'm pretty sure we can do Friday. Friday? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Good deal. Well, we can get start getting packed up, dude. Make sure you grab all your stuff. I don't want to leave anything.
the reason I put this stand here, dude. You see that fence line right there in front of you? I have a trail camera over there, and I got, I don't know, six different bucks on, on the camera after just the first time of checking it. I know you said you wanted to kill anything, but uh, if we get a chance to kill a buck, we'll do it. But just, hey, the other thing is, like, if you guys do see something and I'm not looking over here, tap me or tap the tree. Just do like that. We don't want to, don't go, there's a deer coming. There's a deer. Yeah, don't do that. Okay. I've spent a lot of time in a tree with my own family, but not as much with others. I was pleasantly surprised find the anticipation for me it was just as great for Eli and Sarah as it was when I hunted with my boys and Karen. This segment was brought to you by Hex. Yes, it really works. This segment was brought to you by Fourth Arrow. Record your venture. Raised Honey would like to thank these partners as well. Cyclops, get out of the dark. I don't think you just killed your first deer. The good news is, I don't think you wounded your first deer either. That's good. Uh, That's good, buddy. It looked like to me it was way high. It looked like you barely took some hair off his back. All right, my friend. That's good, buddy. Good the next one. So usually we say if you draw blood, then you're done. I don't think you even drew blood. I think you gave him a haircut. That's about it. You guys had enough fun for one morning. Uh, plus, you don't want to use up all your bullets in the same spot. <laughs> right? No, I got an idea on where we should go this afternoon. It's supposed to get pretty warm. I think that um, learning how to hunt together has it's given us a common bond. So we have something that's not um, sports or school related to talk about, that's a fun hobby for us. So I definitely think that that's brought us closer together. What I hope hunting does for Eli is help him build confidence and help him to appreciate nature and what God has created for us. see that deer.
I see him. Whenever, dude. Shoot him. I should. No, 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 no. You're good. He's got to be lying. You got him that time. I saw the hole in him when he ran off. Right there. He just tipped over. Let's get your first deer. You got him, buddy. What do you think about that? Do you realize what you just did? He shot a deer. That was awesome. This segment was brought to you by Under Armour. We will protect, inspire, champion, honor. You can find Raised Hunting on these social media platforms. This segment was brought to you by Gamo, Adult Precision Air Guns. Closed captioning was brought to you by HME, Hunting Made Easy. Hey, you got that one. <laughs> you got that one, dude. Uh, I saw the hole when he was running off. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think that him being able to go out and hunt has built confidence in him because his friends do it. So, and he just wants to fit in with his buddies. So, um, getting his first deer, I think, was just really important to him. He's learning a lot more than just killing an animal going out to hunt. That's not the, you know, that's not what hunting is about. He's learning how to provide food for, for his family and just an appreciation of the outdoors. You guys will never forget this moment. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. You only get to kill one first deer. It's awesome. He should be out of follow blood. What kind of blood do you think that is? One blood. You think? Yeah, because it's pink and stuff. See it on the stick there? But there you go, dude. Your first buck. Your first deer. Your first kill ever. Good work. That's a good picture of Eli. That's the picture you've been waiting a long time for, isn't it, dude? I think that hunting will grow in our family the more that we go out and do it, and the more that Eli and I learn. I, I think it'll be something we'll do together forever. Uh, Terry, my husband, hunts um, pheasants, so he and Eli go out and pheasant hunt together, and hopefully it'll morph into something that we can all do together. And someday when we have grandkids, we can you know, pass that trait down to them and have something in common that we can all go and enjoy together outside. Has Sarah gone the extra mile for her son? Or is she simply doing what she signed up to do when she chose to become a mom? Would you do it for your kids? Would you get out of your comfort zone to strengthen your relationship with your son or daughter? I hope the answer is yes. But then the next question is, how far out would you go? Well, I hope you'll go as far as Sarah has for Eli. The only regret I have is not uh, doing this sooner and learning myself how to hunt sooner and you know being able to go out with him sooner. The best thing that I've gotten out of learning how to hunt with my son is just the time that we have together. It's We've got this bond now that we didn't have before because we have something that we share together and time that we've spent together and being there when he got his first deer is that was such a special moment for him and I was able to be there with him for it so it's just it's, it's awesome, it's time, it's time well spent and it's memories that you make that is something that will bond you, I think, forever. I 
I have never killed a deer. I would like to. Because I would like to, I would like to get a nice buck. And have a nice rack to hang on the wall. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a competition between me and Eli now.